What's going on guys? Alex Rose 814 ADC and today I'm ready to do my full review on the Best Tech Knives circuit. Now this is the last of the four knives that I have to do a review of um, from the uh, box of four that came in from the Black Widow Passaron group. Shout out to Justin. Um, I always try to shout you out buddy for um, you know always just running a good group. You always get good knives in and you do a really really bang up job for um, being a teenager. So pr appreciate you and shout out to you Justin. Um, so on to the knife. Like I said, this is the last one I have to do. Um, and out of the four knives that Beztech or that were in the box from Beztech, to me this is the most subdued. It's the most just basic. Um, you know, you just have a, a basic drop point style blade. Um, you just have G10. It's all very just kind of a you know utilitarian style. It's all flat. You have a little bit of an indent right there for your fingers, and then it's flat. Just, just a very simple overall shape. Um, the blade is in K110, which is a very similar steel to um, D2 from my understanding. It is in this sort of gray like Cerakote, which is interesting. I don't think I've ever experienced a knife like that before. Um, it, it, I haven't cut too much with this, um, you know, just some paper and a little bit of cardboard, but I don't know if this knife would, you know, this coating would stand up to use very well. Um, I'm not totally sure if it's very similar to a DLC or or what, um, but you know it's interesting to say the least. Then you have the Best Tech logo right there on the pivot. You have these black G10 scales, which have some perforations right there, which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, also some milling cut through up here. You have a red backspacer. You have a sort of anodized blue loop over style deep carry clip that goes to the butt end of the knife, and that is recessed into the scale. And then I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this or not. Well, yeah, you can see it off the liner. Um, there's a liner lock. And then also, if you guys can see, the liner is blue. Those run the whole way through the knife. So both sets of liners um, on the knife are blue, which it's kind of interesting. So you have like a gray and a black and an anodized blue and a red. Like, it's, it's just kind of a mashup of colors. And I don't, like, it's just, I don't know. You can definitely see the blue a little bit better through the holes. Um... I don't know if you guys are made of cedar and all. It's not the best lighting. But it's just interesting. I don't know. Uh, the liners on the inside are skeletonized. There are uh, four um, holes cut out on both sides, which this knife is nice and lightweight. Um, it is running on bearings. So very similar to all the other Best Tech knives that have been on bearings. And it is a flipper-only knife. You see that they do have a hole cut out right here. I'm not really sure what that is for um, because there is no way that you can get your, I mean, you guys can see I'm, I'm getting like the pad of my finger in there and it is just not coming out. I don't know that well, you did get it, but, or I did get it, but um, no, I guess, I guess you can flick it if you, it's just really hard and it's awkward and you have to like really think about what you're doing. Um, I mean, you could technically slow roll it out but it's a very awkward um sort of angle and you have to really shove your thumb down in there i don't know i just it seems sort of weird it seems like it's not very usable um, i don't know because the knife is basically kind of tucked into the scale here um, i don't know if you would use it to like pinch grip it out if you're one of those type of people um but just just kind of weird i wasn't you know i would have much rather had it you know down lower and kind of away from the scales because then i think you could you, you know you could do a really good I see it's just I don't know how I can get it out once in a while and then I you know misfire for four times in a row but it's just it's a really interesting knife and it's you know kind of interesting why they put that uh, hole on there where they did I'm not a huge fan of it so next up is action and I believe when I unboxed this knife I talked about how the action was kind of crap on this um, at least to my recollection and the more I fidgeted with it and I sat with it, um, you know, it's it's definitely gotten better in my opinion. I don't know if it was just cold that day or what, um, but you obviously have the flipper tab. It's kind of a little pocket pecker. It sticks up pretty, you know, a decent ways out of, off the knife. You have jimping right here, and then you just pull back, and it fires out. It's it's very, you know, snappy. Um, you know, all Beztech or all the best tech knives that I have experienced from this box have had really well done detents. Um, you know, whether it's a flipper tab, whether it's a hole, um, none of them had studs. So either a flipper tab or a hole, like they're just very responding. 
uh, respondent, I guess, and they're very snappy and they're just well done. I really have, you know, appreciated Best Tech's dedication to tuning a good pivot. Um, now, obviously, you do have a liner lock, like I said. So the issue I have is it just, it's not, I mean, it's, it's very smooth. Um, I just find myself sometimes with how big that uh, pocket or the, uh, the flipper tab is, if you go up too high on the knife it, you, and you go to close it, that drops and it hits your nail, but then you stay in here between the, you guys can see that's, that's where the secondary detent is. And then you have to get past it and then it falls shut. Um, or it doesn't fall shut, but it, it goes shut. Um, so an issue that I found when I close it, if I get my thumb too far up there, the flipper tab hits my thumb and then it gets kind of locked into that, that weird section right there. Um, but as long as you drop it down lower, but then you don't get as much like leverage. It's just, it's just kind of odd. Um, but as long as you kind of put it right in the middle, you drop it, it hits your nail, but it's past the secondary detent. Um, you know, you can do this all day and it is smooth. It's just not a guillotine or, but it is smooth. I'll give it that. <coughs> Excuse me. So action is, is pretty decent. Um, next up is Ergos. And surprisingly, ergos on this knife are really, really good for me and my hands personally. Um, use these, uh, blah, 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 can't talk. They use the flipper tab here as kind of a natural restriction point. Um, I can get all four fingers on here pretty comfortably. I will say the pock clip is kind of a hot spot um, without sticks up so proud at the very end of the knife. Um, I can definitely feel that. Um, but it's not terrible. You obviously have a choiler right here that you can use to choke up on. That's a really comfortable grip. Um, you're kind of. I think I talked about this in the operator, I believe, um, because it has a choil as well. And the pocket clip gave sort of some hotspot issues with that. With the choil, you move up and then you're moved forward on the um, the pocket clip, and you're not, you know, on it so much. You're not torquing down on it, and it feels a lot better. Um, this choil definitely provides, you know, some good leverage for for some precise cuts. You know, if you're getting up, you're you're doing some precise um, push cuts, whatnot. Um, it could be a little bit deeper. It's kind of just narrow right here and shallow, um, but it still works really well. Uh, I would rather have, it is still usable. I would rather have this, um, although it's not the best choil over no choil, <coughs> excuse me, over no choil at all. I keep getting something stuck in my throat. Body armor, really good guys. Um, I was addicted to the blue raspberry flavor, but then I started finding that this light is only like 15 calories and two grams of sugar. Berry punch, basically fruit punch. It's really good too. Kind of a, it's a bougier Gatorade, I would say. Um, but back to the knife in Ergos. Um, if you're, you know, kind of in a hammer grip, you're doing some push cuts. Still, you can feel apocalypse, but overall comfortable. Um, the one other issue that I find with this knife is these, these cutouts. And that's very similar to the Explorer. They had like the slanted cutouts along the scales. So it's not as pronounced as that. But when I'm in a grip like this, my fingers kind of like dig into those holes right there, like my fingertips. And it's just not like, I, I don't like having like holes or perforations or slants or slits or whatever cut into the knife because that's always a an issue point because if they're not sanded off the correctly, if they're not like, um, you know, they're not finished correctly. And even if they are finished and sanded off and, you know, done very, very nicely, sometimes they still might, you know, annoy your hands because it's just, I don't know. I don't like how it's grippy and I just, I'm not a fan of that. Uh, that was a big issue for me on the Explorer, which I have right here. Um, how it has like these cuts right there. Obviously this is a more exaggerated version of it. Um, almost dropped it. But definitely just wanted to make a point of it that I don't really enjoy that. I wish they just would have taken the G10 and, you know, went straight back with it and didn't cut that out at all. I guess they might have done it in order to see the blue liners, maybe. Uh, but just not a huge fan of it. Next up is carry. And this carries pretty well. Again, it's, you know, it's an overall, uh, I believe the blade length is right at three inches, maybe a little bit less. Excuse me, my voice is correct. Um, but the pot clip works very, very well. It's super easy in and out of pocket. Um, you know, you just, it has solid retention, but it's not, you know, super torqued down to where you're going to have to like fight to get it in your pocket. 
Um, it technically goes past the butt end of the knife, so it is extremely deep carry. Um, it just disappears down in there. I really like because this is sort of like a, in my opinion, a shorter deep carry clip. And you guys know that I love when deep carry clips are not super long, when they don't like go halfway down the knife. I love shorter versions of them. Um, so this one kind of, you know, takes it home for me. I'm not a huge fan of the um, blue anodizing. I wish it was just kind of, um, you know, more of a matte gray or black or stone wash, something like that. Uh, blue's okay, but I wish that it was done on other accents of the knife and not the pocket clip, if that makes sense. Um, but it rides in your pocket like this. Again, I always talk about the flipper tab down here. If you're digging in down here, trying to get change out, you know, something at the bottom of your pocket, you might be apt to catch your uh, hand on it, but it's not sharp jumping. So if you do, you're probably just gonna, you know, bounce right off of it. Shouldn't cause you any issues at all. Um, but yeah, carries well, it's pretty lightweight for, you know, the knife. Um, it's a pretty solid size, right in the medium range of knives and the apocalypse work extremely well, so. Lastly, on to price point and what to recommend this knife. Um, so I forgot to talk in the beginning. Uh, this was, or this is on White Mountain Knives, which I will leave a link in the description down below if you're interested in the circuit. Um, I found it for $54 and for some reason, um, I have this sheet here that I wrote like every other piece of information down on all the other models that I reviewed, like colors and stuff like that. Um, but for some reason, I must have forgotten to take all the colors down for this, but I believe there is a red version, an orange version, uh, this black version, and I think a blue version. Um, and you know, for 54 bucks, um, and you're, you know, you can use uh, your favorite YouTuber's code to get 10% off and free shipping. So you're gonna probably be underneath 50 bucks. Um, we'll, 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 we'll call it 50 bucks. I think this is a pretty solid knife. If you're looking for, you know, just a rock solid work knife that is in kind of the three inch blade range, um, you know, nice simple drop point, very utilitarian. Um, it's very lightweight, has a solid pot clip. Like, I don't think you could go wrong with this. Um, you know, I don't think I'm gonna be running out to pick it up um, just because I have other knives that I could consider work knives and um, that I would much rather carry over this. But if you are, you know, kind of attracted to the overall, you know, size and shape of it and how it looks, then I, I would recommend it. I think it's worth it. I think, you know, similar to all the other Best Tech models that I did a review on, the fit and finish seems pretty well done from Best Tech. Um, again, you guys know the detent, uh, you know, on all of them have been very well tuned. Um, so the action is going to be solid. Uh, the materials you're getting for the price is, is pretty good in my opinion on all of them uh, and this is no there's no uh no issue i guess on this one either no no differences is what i'm trying to say um i don't know how directly k k110 compares to d2 um, i don't know if k110 has a better um you know sort of corrosion resistance but it sacrifices edge edge retention or if it has a better edge retention but it has worse um, stain resistance i don't know um, but with this coating, you are going to be more protected than uh, against like stains and rusting, I would think. Um, so yeah, I, I would recommend it to people that are looking for a very basic, simple knife um, that just want something very, you know, comfortable in the hand, uh, very utilitarian. That's a term I like to use a lot. Um, so yeah, it's a good knife. Am I going to buy one? No, it's not. Not for me. Um, I have better knives in the collection, and I. Uh, always will i would assume that i that i think personally are better um uh, but this is good and it has definitely a a niche of people out there that would enjoy this so that was my full review on the best tech circuit guys this was again one of the four uh that came in from the black widow pass around group shout out to justin again thank you dude for always um just being the man um and providing all these knives for us yeah, um, that was my full review, like I said. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. If you guys have not yet, consider clicking subscribe. I really would appreciate it if you did so. I just want to see this channel grow. Um, and I just, you know, that's why I do it. I love interacting with you guys. And it just has been really fun so far. And um, the growth has been kind of willy-nilly. I've had big sweat, like big, you know, segments. And then it's been kind of slow lately. Um, but slow but steady wins a race, so... Uh, yeah, I will quit rambling, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your evening, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.